YouTube, it's Bunker Dunker TV here. And today, we're gonna be doing a nice little custom little, I don't know, a DIY, as you would call it, right? We're gonna head over to the store, we're gonna get some spinners. Dollar like, yeah, spinners, plus cheap, 125. Cheap spinners, we're gonna customize them, we're gonna show you guys how to make them. Head inside. All right. Go to the spinner section aisle. I'm gonna look for the spinner section. Me and Rob, boy, I'm going in. One hard thing. All this junk. That's why everything's dirt cheap here. This way. Oh, it's this way. Nah. In here. Is it here? Yep, yeah, it is. Down here, to the left. Here. This is all light bulbs and crap. I think it's in the other aisle. Oh, it's pretty good. Pretty sure, sure. Yeah, it's in the other aisle. Oh, damn it. I think I need to come home. It was fast. Yeah, you know, we're just trying to force some spinners. Took I might get a spinner bait. Here. Took a wrong lane here. Oh. Get on. <laughs> Remember we'll do it down here when I go. I'm going. Oh, there they are. Oh, Look at all these. These are the sick crappy oh. spinners right here, like such as these. These. Oh, this is a spoon. Anyway. This one? Everything's dirt cheap. Oh, Very this cheap. one. Look, this one has no paint on it. Pretty good. Here's the price. Pretty cheap. We're going to be. Uh, Customizing these with the. Uh... We're each gonna get our own. Oh, I want a crankbait, by the way. Should I get a crankbait? Look, this one it has a lip on it and everything. Should I get one? One? Yeah. Alright, so basically, what we're gonna be doing, or getting actually, is one of these. Like, you know, some of these, like spinners, and I might do a spoon here. Um, pretty much, what we're doing, we're just skimming off all this nasty paint. And this one doesn't actually have any paint on it, so I'm gonna skim off all the paint. Use a glue stick for the first layer. Put glitter or pretty much whatever you want. Put two layers of nail polish. See all these lures over here. I might do a spoon, as I said earlier. Just do one of these. All right, guys. So this is the haul from Dollarama right here. Uh, pretty much what we're gonna be doing is just scraping off all this paint off here and rubbing some glue stick, glitter, and two coats of nail polish that adds some waterproof resistance same thing with this one except we don't have to scrape it off you know so that's pretty much it so i'm gonna be doing is the same process except i'm gonna be scraping off the paint and i'm going to be uh pretty much just coloring them with different color nail polish since it's waterproof i'm gonna color it as different prey imitations such as birch minnows you know little predator i mean little prey and we'll see you at the lake What's going on you guys? Welcome back. Uh, we just came back from Dollarama. We're ready to go on how to show you guys how to make these spinners. Alright guys, so let's look for one spinner here that I recently bought. Right here guys, look at this. This spinner, I showed you guys in the package earlier, earlier today, and you can see it's already starting to peel because of that danky little paint in there. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Really easy. Usually you guys have it. So what you're going to need with some nail polish remover, you got this fancy dancy stuff. Uh, what else? You need a glue stick, real cheap, and some clear nail polish. Now this stuff is the magic right here. This is what you're gonna need 
is the best part. Don't shake it like aggressively because then that causes air bubbles. And over here, you got just a normal little paintbrush. You can get it freaking anywhere. It doesn't matter how high quality it is. All right, guys. So, let's all right, guys. Here. So we're gonna start off here. We're gonna scrape off all the paint off of this. Alright guys, so we're back. I, as you can see, I scraped off the majority of the paint. It's pretty easy stuff right now. Now, it's all easy going from here. That was pretty much the hardest part. Now what you're gonna need, some Elmer's glue. Doesn't matter what kind of glue you have, to be honest. It's just, it's just as long as it's some glue. And you're pretty much gonna take the blade. Just dab, not too much, alright guys? So if you put like a huge wad, it's gonna be way too much. So make sure you just put it. And the rest, just use your hands, or you use your fingers if you want. You can use a Q-tip if you'd like, but it's better with the hands. All right, so once that's done, leave it, leave it flat, make sure nothing goes on it. Oh, this is gonna interrupt everything. Now keep it rolling, because I'm gonna cut this out. I need the glitter. All right, guys, so now we got the glitter. You can use any glitter you want. You can get some from the dollar store for really cheap, guys, trust me. Now what you guys wanna do, be generous. You're gonna dump it, literally, legit dump it like that. Seal it up so you don't make a mess. And literally, all you're gonna do is shake it and dab it some more, just all over in the powder. And all you're gonna do is shake off the resin and there you go you got a fully coated one now the little white uh, yellow sticker accents will fall off as it goes in the water and it'll look pretty good actually you can see it has gives it some texture so now once you're done with that you can just dust it out it doesn't need to exist anymore now what you need to do next is grab your nail polish remover or not your remover your nail polish now we need the paintbrush. All right, hold up. Keep pausing. Where'd the paintbrush go? No, don't pause it. Just let it let it be. I'll cut it out. All right, guys. So now you just get the paintbrush right here. Open up your nail polish remover or nail polish. Now don't use the nail polish brush because you're gonna mess it up. You're gonna put glitter in all the nice nail polish. So what you're gonna do, literally just dump some on some surface. That's all you're gonna pretty much need. You're gonna do two coats. You're gonna envelope it like that and simply hold the blade and dump the coat. Now you wanna make sure the glitter stays in place because it's gonna move a little bit. So you're just gonna have to do it nice and quick. Put a nice generous coat all around. Alright guys, so now once that's done, you're going to have to wait for it to dry so you can put on a second coat. Now once that second coat is gone and done with, it's literally, that's pretty much it. That's all it is to it. If you guys want to take it a step further, you can take some acrylic paint, any paint you'd like, and just use the end of the paintbrush. As you can see, I've done this quite a bit. You just put some paint, it could be red or anything, to just give it some like little slashes to make to make it look like it's hurt just dump like you know grab the end put in the paint and dab it on and make little dots it'll make it look really cool or if you can give it a trout color or dot you can put black and poke it all around and it makes it look really good adds that level of texture and that's really pretty much it guys so i'm just gonna put the second coat after i'm done with this one and you can just go on the water and all right it. guys Devin just showed you his technique and his glitter way i'm gonna teach you mine um so as you can see i have a spinner as well very cheap doll rama spinner see this paint is not 
really not used to it, it's not good. So I'm gonna scratch off the paint, just as he did. Okay guys, um, looks like we're done here. We're good. That's uh, that's all gone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a good wipe with some of this stuff, which is the nail polish remover, to remove any excess dents and such. Give it smooth smoothness, so the paint will look smooth, not lumpy. Give it a good rubbing. You can use uh, Q-tips, as Devin said, but uh, the the cobs get like really they get stuck in the uh, scratches and it's hard to remove. So there it is. Now you're gonna add you're gonna add some color to it as soon as it dries up. I'm gonna grab some colors. Here's my two colors. I have these nail polishes which I bought from Dollarama which were really cheap they came in a pack I'm using yellow and red to imitate uh, injured perch so here we are what I'm gonna do is I'm pretty much gonna start by coating half of the spinner yellow so here I am applying some yellow Alright guys, now we're going to wait for it to dry, and as soon as it dries up, we're going to use this black sharpie here, which is right here. We're going to use this black sharpie to get the stripes of a perch in, and after that we're going to dab some dots of red on the bottom, which is supposedly the belly, and I'll get right back to you when the paint dries. Alright guys, so we're back, and the coat that we applied is officially dry now, as you can see. Anyways, now we're going to apply the stripes. So uh, we're done with adding the stripes. Now we're gonna add the uh, red dots to the belly. Supposedly it's an injured perch. So let's start with that. All right guys, we're done now. We're just gonna wait for the thing to dry out. And when it does, we put it in action and see what happens. See you on the water. What's going on, you guys? All right, here we are finally at the lake. You guys can see what we're doing here. Uh, so I'm just gonna tell you guys my setup, what I'm gonna be doing to get this pike or perch that we're targeting today. Um, as you guys can see, I'm using my Baitcaster Tourney Special Bass Pro Shops uh, Baitcaster. Awesome reel, really good. Um, also, I'm using a six foot six rod here it's good enough for casting far enough and I'm using one of the uh, DIY spinner baits here that I made earlier and what that's what we're gonna be teaching that's what we taught you guys so uh, yeah here's Robbie crab boy turning up with his freaking bait caster yeah so I'm just gonna be fishing it out see what we're gonna get and uh, I'll show you guys if we get anything Here he 
because I'm gonna hold him tight so he doesn't scurry away. All right, guys, look at him. He's quite nice. Not the size we wanted, but pretty nice size. He is shaky right now, so we're gonna go for the release. Beautiful fish on the uh, customized the custom spinner. spinner. Here we go, guys. He is. Beautiful release. Oh, that was barely hooked. Oh, baby. Crap, I'm gonna freaking trip on my own line. On the glitter, first right. my spinner. Look at that beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys right here. Look at that. Pretty nice, now we're gonna go for a release. Yo, that customized glitter one is freaking working. No, I don't need it. Fish. Fish on. Oh, that's a beauty pike. Oh, that's a big one. Pick it up, pick bring it up. Bring it quick, over, quick, bring quick, it quick. over. No, that's how you drop it. Oh, look. Yes. On the perch imitation. Put him in your hand, put him in your hand with this. Put him in your hand with this. Nice job, Rob boy. Put him in your hand with this. Just one nice one there. Now for the unhook. Now you, now you guys, now you guys can see. Oh crap. It does work. Not, you're not you getting away from me. that our DIYs are working really well. And you guess how much we paid for them? Freaking dirt cheap, boys. Show it again. Show it off. Awesome fish. Number three is gone. He's right there catching again. All right, guys, after a day on the water using our customized spinners, uh, we had some decent luck. I mean, we caught three pike, not the size we wanted, but we still caught on our own customized spinner that we paid 125 for and just used our skills. So that's what we did with our creativity. Please try it at home and. Yeah, hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And also, if you guys do want to check out our fish brain, it'll be in the description below. We're hoping to bring some more social media into this, but once we get get bigger, we're gonna do that. So, anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed and tight line.